Let's talk to the live event for Rob Coles on our show. We talk to Bob and Vice also to the Coles. I'm going to explain this now. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Let's talk with the round. Let's talk with Jerry in New York. Jerry. Hey, Tim. How are you doing? 11th time caller here. 11 time. That may be a new record. I don't know. But Dave in Illinois could beat you. What's going on? Uh, a while ago, you and I talked about Chenier Energy, symbol LNG. Is it a good time to buy it? Um, yeah, natural gas prices low, business high. I would buy LNG, absolutely. I think that is I, – I, CQP is good, too. That's the uh, analog. But, yeah, I, the stock is up a great deal. But, yes, the answer is it's the right time. Let's go to Steve in New Hampshire. Steve. Jim, booyah. Booyah to Happy you. Thanks, same. Thanks. Hey, listen, you know, I had a question on, because um, I'm heavy on VU and QQQ, and I'm looking to diversify into uh, GE Vernova. What are your thoughts, and is there any change? Okay, coming? GE Vernova is about to report, and my problem is GE Vernova may be one of the situations where it sells off on good news, and I think you are going to get good news, because I think the company's doing incredibly well, and Scott Strasick's doing a terrific job. But remember, this is like one of those companies that is a data center magnet. They have a, they have nuclear power. They have, let's say, just small nuclear reactors. But that won't be online until 2030. But be aware that they are the way that people are playing the power to the data center. Let's go to James Matthews and James. Hey, Jim. First time caller. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. We're, talk- we're talking about HubSpot today. I... Uh, Got in around a cost basis of about 600, and I'm having a really hard time figuring out what the fair price of this thing is in the shorter term. It was flying it's high. Really hard. Uh, on- it, I tell you, it's really, really hard. I mean, it sells a high multiple. I have referred to Salesforce.com, particularly with Agent Force. It doesn't have the growth of the HubSpot, but I think that this HubSpot's playing with fire, frankly, and I do not want to play with fire. Let's go to Jason in Florida. Jason. Hey, Jim, how are you? Thanks for having me on. Uh, thank you for calling, Jason. <clears throat> hey, I was talking to a buddy of mine, uh, Bean Picker Craig, and he told me about this stock that's been going up steadily for the past month. So I want to know if my buddy, Bean, Pick- Bean Picker Craig, is right about Ion Q. That's a, that's a parabolic move. You might be in the middle of a parabolic move. That means you got more upside. You might be near the end, and you're going to get clobbered. I cannot recommend that stock on that basis. Let's go to Jake in New York. Jake! Booyah, Jill Van. Yeah, man, what's happening? I'm calling about a hot stock, so not very chill. Uh, help us DGens out and tell us to move with this top DGen stock. I know my buddy Mike needs some help. They move the lines and set the handicaps. They fuel my live betting addiction. They work with MGM, DraftKings, and FanDuel. I'm talking about Sports Radar, S-R-A-D. I don't know Sports Radar. I don't know that one. I know every one of those companies you mentioned. I thought it might be one that I also knew, but I do not know Sports Radar. We're going to have to do some work on that. Let's go to Ron in Florida. Ron. Oh, thanks, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Um, of course. My question to you, Jim, is um, I'm looking at Vistra, VST, which I'm sure yeah. you know very well. I really yes, I do. I mean, this is extra energy, which is the same thing as Constellation. Uh, and uh, I've got to tell you, they're interchangeable. Uh, they have been resting of late. I feel like they're just resting, and then they'll go higher, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Let's go to Rick in Massachusetts. Rick. Mr. Kramer, thank you for taking my call. Long time of listener, first time caller. Excellent. I'm calling regarding New Scale Power Corporation, ticker SMR. Yes, again, that's a small-scale nuclear mod- module reactor, and I think that that stock is losing, that company's losing a lot of money. You might as well go again with GE Vernova, GEV, because that's something else to fall back on, and you still get the nukes. Let's go to Chris in New York. Chris. Hi, hi, Mr. Kramer. I had a question hi. about ATS uh, Space Mobile. Okay, uh, I have you- felt that that company is overvalued. Uh, it's a telecommunications company with mobile space. I keep waiting for Starlink to come out, and then I've been more involved. That, that's the uh, Elon Musk company. I cannot recommend AST Space Mobile. It doesn't make any money. Let's go to Mark in Connecticut, please. Mark. Hey, Jim. How you doing? Thanks for taking my call. Of course. Thank you. I um, asked about Dexcom. That I last know. quarter was really terrible. I've got to tell you, new quarter's on the horizon. I frankly can't believe that it could be as bad as the last quarter. And the Ke- Kevin Sayer, I think, can deliver. But you know what? I lost conviction after that last quarter. I really did. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of the Lightning Round. 
Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, forget Yankees versus Dodgers. One of the biggest rivalries these days seems to be activist versus CEO. Kramer tackles the companies in the crosshairs. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.